Hi viewers, you are welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon. Today we have a news for you here and headline says UK Parliament deliberates on killing of protesters in Lekki. Video below. Now, the United Kingdom Parliament has started the deliberation on the petition seeking to sanction the federal government for human rights abuse over the NSAS protest. It was reported that the United Kingdom Parliament has confirmed it will consider a petition seeking to sanction the federal government for human rights abuse over the hashtag NSAS protest. The petition which is on the UK government and parliament website accused the Nigerian government and police of violation, sorry guys, of violating the rights of those protesting against police brutality and extortion. Following the development, Stephen Dutty, member of the parliament, in a post via his Twitter account on Wednesday said the issue of the killing has been raised and deliberations has begun. According to her, I raised the shocking killing of NSAS protesters, protesters in Lake Ito Gate, Lagos, Nigeria, this morning in House of Commons with FCDO GOVU K Minister Niger Adams. I am horrified by the report I am receiving. UK government must urgently raise at the highest level with Nigeria, he said. Now see video below. With your, with your leave, Mr. Holliburn, I think given the events overnight, I just wanted briefly to mention the um, shocking scenes of brutality and violence that we've seen at the uh, Lecky Toll Plaza. Um, and obviously, I hope that the minister can perhaps share with us um, the government's response to those um, shocking scenes, not least because of the strong relationship we have with Nigeria, uh, including with the uh, military and security forces there. Um, Amnesty have said there is credible evidence of excessive use of force leading to the deaths of protesters. It's been condemned by the former US Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton. So can he tell us whether he and his colleagues will be urgently speaking with the Nigerian High Commissioner and also uh, their counterparts in the Nigerian uh, Foreign Ministry. It's absolutely crucial given the horrific scenes that we've seen overnight. Well, this would have been a work on development, but uh, the problem here is that all this so-called uh, parliament here, parliament that will, will, after everything will, will come to nothing. Because the British government themselves are the ones causing these problems. All these protests started for so almost a week now, more than a week, before the British short woman came to Nigeria to see Bola Tribu and the so-called Jubri in Asorok. After the left, things became worse. They started burning cars from cars, this and that, our SAR community started saying that they are no longer really agree with the SARS being uh, uh, that SAR should go. This and that. The so called SS that work with the government and now come out, started moving around with the talks, looking for a way to find solution to cause problem and like so that it's, it's the so called evil Boko Haram soldiers who come in and kill innocent people. If British government really they are tired of holding us down with Fulani. They should do the right thing. They should do the right thing. This is not all about, it's not all about SARS problem. Because SARS himself take orders from somebody and that person is the General Police. First of all, the General Police have to resign. Then the so-called Jubilee Nasoro have to come out and talk to his people, have to come and talk to the people of Nigeria, face to face, live. If you watch one man that we interview from Channel Television today, I saw what he was saying. Even after every, he was still, was still claiming that Buhari has given a live broadcast. This is the problem we have in Nigeria. If Lanis are tired of staying in one place with us, they should let us alone. 
Today, this one will say this. The one, this one will say that. Metala will say this. These are all criminals. And the so-called Nigerian government had refused to bring them to book. I still claim that uh, we have a president in Asorok. People that have been killing innocent people for a very long time, you have not brought them to book. I still claim you are a president of Nigeria. Our British government tell us that they are not seeing all those things. That would tell that British government himself are fake. They are the one causing the whole problem. They should first of all remove that constitution that was made by soldiers in Nigeria. A constitution that a president can come out and order anything and it will happen. That is not a constitution. We need to take care of ourselves. We need our own policy. Not flanny policy. I don't know why people are beating, all, beating around the bush. I saw some nonsense uh, seaport they are claiming, pretending to be constructing in Indonesia. And some people were happy. Buhari say, save you. Some say, Buhari is this, some say, that. Sometimes when I look at Igbo boys, I just laugh at them. Just because yeah, a cargo came to Anisha. All of a sudden, now Buhari is a good person. With your own resources. Anyway, like I said before, doing inquiry, this and that, will not bring back the people that has been killed. Though it's important that they do so. But at the process of doing so, they have to do the right thing. By removing that Gisele constitution that the Abslam Abaka brought to us. That says we do. Nobody constructed that constitution with Abslam Abaka. He constructed this alone with his fellow soldier, fellow soldiers. We don't need it. That is the only thing we are talking about here. Do the right thing, British government, to avert this war you are calling for. Because what you are doing is you are calling war between Nigerians to fight, kill yourself. We don't need anybody to tell us who we are. We know who we are. All we ask is Leave our land for us so that we can be able to take care of our land for ourselves. If you like, can be president all the days of your life. That is your own problem. But give us our land. By doing the right thing, by giving us a good constitution that will want us to take care of our own land by ourselves, want us to have our own police of ourselves without following any police coming to our land to come and kill our people. It's as simple as that. Our own prime minister by ourselves, not to have any man coming to, 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 to tell us what to do in our land. After that, this was what Juku negotiated in Abu Accord. All those things. You fed him because uh, uh, Goa was a greedy man, a useless, greedy son of a bitch. Then. Now, the whole thing is on food. People are dying, not several are dying. The best thing for you people to do is to do it right and now. That's not too late. That's all I can say. Well, viewers, share this as tablets as you do. And call the Queen of England, the so-called Queen of England, to do the right thing before it's too late. We are tired of short people going around with a big, big old school bag, telling us what to do with their brain inside the bag. <laughs>